this is Anna from JustPaint.com. I have the beautiful Kristen here today. Ta-da! Mm -hmm. We're going to be demoing the Mermaid Scale Tap Stencil and we're going to use it for a mermaid design. So here we go. First I'm going to load up some Global Gold. It is extremely gold and pearly and I'm going to tap a little bit of it in the middle of her forehead. So it's like a sun coming over her brow bone and then I'm just going to fill in this area on her eyelid. We're going to put some one stroke there but I'm going to fill in the middle first in case the one stroke doesn't reach all the way over her eyelid. So she's got a nice little base. Then I'm going to load the new bolt brushes. This is the three quarter inch and I'm going to load it into my fun stroke topo. This is from the Global Palette. Um, it's got six little fun strokes in it, and I've been just living out of one palette for quite a long time. Um, so I'm going to start doing some scallops for the edge of her mermaid design. So it's kind of like a butterfly wing. And then here I'm just going to do a little wiggle waggle like a ribbon. And then I'm going to go for the other side. And you want to watch your symmetry, so I kind of have an angle coming right from where her um, eyebrow starts in the center and goes out. But when you're working on opposite sides of the face, it can always be a challenge. Alright, and then I'll do a little wiggle waggle ribbony mermaid wiggle. Now I'm going to take our glorious tap stencil and I am going to load it in some Global Green Deep, which is a nice super dark color. And I think it'll add some good mermaid scales. I'm going to test and make sure that it's not too wet, but I want a little bit more pink coming off. All right, that should be good. Now I'm just going to center it. There's three scallops right here that I'm going to make my centerpiece and just center that right above the bridge of her nose and start tapping. Tappity tap, tappity tap. You get a little more paint from this side of the sponge. If you don't see the paint filling in your tap stencil then you can reload, um, but if you see it too wet while you're tapping you're going to want to stop and uh, load up some more paint so it's not so wet and drippy. All right, now I'm just going to load a one inch brush. Half inch brush. <laughs> a half inch brush. And I'll just do a little. Or a quarter. I don't know. We don't know what this inch is. Mm. It's brushing, okay. I'm just doing some little scallops. But you could do a straight whoop whoop if you wanted to also. Alright, so this is like the basic design and then you can add details um, depending on how much time you have. So I'm just going to throw out some little squiggles and highlights. I'll just do a couple little drag drop, teardrops, wee, And then I'll put a couple little, can you just turn your head that way Kristen? Good job, she's such a good model. Kristen is a face painter too so she knows all about turning your head the right way. Woo! And then I'm going to just put a couple little teardrops up in here. Woo! So depending where you start your one stroking you have room for doing all sorts of different stuff. But as you can see the mermaid scale stencil really has a nice uh, mermaid effect. You can put a jewel in the middle or whatever you're dreaming of, I'm going to tap on some glitter. Oh my goodness. You look so beautiful. So mm -hmm. fancy. And some on her nose. Oh, there we go. But that's extremely simple. So you can work on that. Um, add more details if you want to. But check out our mermaid taps. And we have three other new taps right now at JustPaint.com. Have a great day.